welcome to the Cedar River Snag. So on this one, we're gonna make a little glass critter. I sculpted in it and uh, gonna catch you up a little bit on the hot tub project that's going on. So I'm bound and determined to have that thing done by freaking summertime. So yeah, <laughs> it's going. We uh, gonna do a little bit of glass sculpture in here. So might be able to leave you know this video unage restricted some of my other stuff it's adult theme so i age restrict it this one yeah, it should be good for everybody so we're actually going to uh make this little goofy goober but uh we'll get into that here here's a uh, better picture of him anyway Yes, here's the old hot tub slash whirlpool I'm making. It was filthy inside, so I filled it up with a bunch of cleaners and took them up, scrubbed the sides out, scrubbed everything out. It, it ended up getting way cleaner than that, but uh, yeah, that was one of the first processes was getting that clean. Yep, I filled her up with all kinds. I used Fabulosa and some other stuff in there. Filled it up, let it set, filled it up, let it set. There's actually some rust stains in the bottom, but I'm not super concerned about those because the damn thing has to be cleaner than anything in my house as much times as I scrub that out. like We'll see. Once I get her set up, I'll climb down in there and try to scrub them out with a magic eraser or something. But I got all the wood tacked back up all the way around it. I did some reinforcement and some bracing on her. Not too bad. This is before I actually cleaned it out. But there's still gross stuff in it. And as you can see, that's what it was before. It's pretty clean now after. I did leave the back uncovered because that's where I'm going to cut my holes in for my filter. Possibly a heater. But probably just more of a filter. We'll see. Made some headway on that. The weather got psychotic after, so... Yeah, that's kind of where we are now. Over the next couple days, I gotta clean out the spot that it needs to go into and then move it over there. And then I can start hooking up the plumbing for the filter and everything, so... One step at a time. Yep, right there the head that I was working on popped off. That's what happens when you don't keep everything nice and hot and you put a little force on there, especially if you're using pliers. you got to keep everything about the same temperature. It's kind of a pain in the butt to do, but I don't know. I'm not a quitter, so we gobbed the other end back up there and we'll get back on her.
All right, we're going to do a brief commercial break of some tiny little sculptures I've been making for pendants that are awesome. Those pendants are made out of kind of recycled rod tips when I run out. I twist them and pull them and smash them together in all different types of shapes and forms and didn't know what I was going to do with them originally. And I got some bottles and geez, they are tiny, like one inch by less than half inch wide bottles with a quarter inch opening. They are tiny. So I started pinching and pulling these tiny little sculptures. I mean, there's one that looks like a hot dog. I got a bunch of them that look like coral there. They're pretty cool. I took and stuck them things in the jars and then glued them in with glow-in-the-dark resin. It's, it's one of a kind of art that you can own, you know. It's affordable. So I got a line of those going. They're up on the site over at cedarriversnag.com and up on my eBay at the CR Snag. I think that's what I am over there. But yeah, they're up and very affordable at 20 bucks a pop for a custom sculpted molded piece of glass you know artwork that you can carry around in a jar and they're filled with oil that's plastic uh corks plastic coated three times sealed up with uv resin so they're pretty durable little things they got uh oil in them that is heat tolerant with a little bit of glitter put into it and freeze tolerant so they're pretty durable little things so you can carry around custom artwork you know from the cedar river snag for like 20 bucks wear it around your neck hang it in your car it's all good Thanks for joining us out here. Uh, we got a lot of projects going on. I'm, I have to get started on this strawberry, you know, enclosure garden bed. I'm making it out of a crib frame that's just laying around. So we got to get started on that soon. So that that will be updated here. And uh, I, I know that was on the list of the projects here. The uh, hot tub, which I don't know if I'm going to make it a hot tub because I really want it over the summertime. In the wintertime, I'm not going to be in that thing. So I might not actually put a heater, hook a heater up to it. I had a five-gallon water heater I was going to. I want that thing from June, maybe late May, June, July, August, September, and beginning of October. So in that point in time where I actually want this thing, I'm not going to want the water to be hotter. So, and we might put a lid on that one and just hook up the pool filter and make it a whirlpool. So, yeah, who knows? But hey, thanks for joining us. Uh, glass sculptures I'm working on will be released. Once I get about 20 of them done, I'll do them in a set and pop them on uh, the website, cedarriversnag.com. If that's not friendly for you, they'll be on eBay where the CR snag over there. So, whatever works for you. I hope to see you again, and uh, you know what? I hope today was great, and I hope tomorrow is even better for you. Till next time, have a good one.